all of our lifetimes, housing's gone up with a few exceptions here and there. Housing is going to do well to go sideways for the coming decades, nevertheless go up much again because of this generational shift. We've never seen this in history. In my book, I said that we are on a wild roller coaster of a ride and that we would first see the threat of deflation followed by a helicopter drop and that would be followed by big inflation and that has happened. There was the 2008 crisis but it would then be followed by a real deflation and then followed by hyperinflation. You are here. We're going into something like this and it'll be followed by the world's central banks overreacting. And they created trillions of dollars to fill the hole. Well, all that does, it's like taking more drugs to keep from coming down high. I mean, a drug addict can keep taking more drugs until it kills them. It's the exact same thing. Debt, especially when it's extreme, is a financial enhancing drug. It gives you more than you deserve. When it's over, you have to go through a detox, as they would call it. And that's where you get deflation. This is the nightmare scenario for every central banker. And all of the world's central bankers are Keynesians. They believe that they can print their way to prosperity, even though they have proved that you can't time after time. When all of the world's central banks start printing their currencies into oblivion simultaneously, what you will see is a wealth transfer where the vast majority becomes very poor and just a few people become very rich. It's horrible for the economy. We are in for something big again, and this time it's going to be more horrific than the uh, crash of 2008, simply because the response to 2008 created a lot of stored energy. When the market crashes, that energy is released in the opposite direction. Well, we're going to get a reaction from all of this. Do we have a housing bubble? No, we've got a hyper bubble. Home prices are just in lunaticsville. I think that what's going to happen is that we're going to have uh, Ben burn the currency, Bernicke is our next Fed head. We're going to have the housing bubble pop. There will be a contraction in the M3 money supply because uh, um, of all the wave, the tsunami of bankruptcies that's coming. And uh, at the same time,